So in this video, I am going to make a multi-layer graphene system. So mono layers we have created, and I will make a I will make a multi-layer system. The reason I am making multi-layer system is because the multi-layer systems can be used as an energy storing device or like uh, ions like lithium plus can be stored in the graphene layer so it is very interesting to make multi-layer system and uh, the reason uh, and another reason is like it's a good practice that you know how to make a multi-layer in the vista it will also provide you some new features that you can make so first you have to load the file that part you can always I will always try to skip and then another thing we have to do is we have to go to edit we have to edit bonds that is required because these bonds are uh, very confusing for me so I apply now I know what are the uh, bonds that is destroyed uh, or they are not coming in visualization now we have to do an another step which is very important we have to go to structural parameters and then we have to go to unit cell then we have to go to transform and just type to here this is the one thing we have to do so I am just make considering I think I will make three layer system if it is okay now apply we can use and uh, so four layers are created uh, in a bulk system now let me just export data as a pa as a postcard file I will try to just save it as a postcard and I will write it as a C4 layers but I will just make three layers I am for the sake of convenience I am saving it four layers so I will just save it is in a Cartesian coordinate which is very important now another step as I already told you you have to because I have to make three layers so we have to delete this layer very important cost, uh, uh, step then we have to remove the bonds which are periodic then we will save it is in a periodic system now we can see this C0 and these other, other parts we can see these are periodic so we have to just delete this periodic mix because by default Vista perceive these bonds or these atoms so it will double count it so which is or, or maybe triple counted so what I will do I will delete one by one I know this layer we just we have to delete it okay so it is it is selecting this so let me just go by one by one so this is very simple delete and then delete again we have to delete then we will do one thing we will just delete this upper bonds you can also delete the lower bones it, it is uh, it doesn't really matter so when you just delete it you will have this structure and let me just finally check it so we all the bones we have removed now let me just export data it as an XYZ remember you have to export when you have deleted in XYZ three layers and tada now it will ask whether you want to save hidden atoms but we don't want to save hidden atoms because it is important that because we have deleted those atoms so we have to we don't have to do, do we don't want to save those hidden atoms so we will say no we will have our three two files as this four layer I will just change it to a three layer because now original bulk is a three layer now let me just go to this XYZ file and we will copy and people who are working in PyCharm they can easily delete it 
but I am making this tutorial based on the assumptions that this is this will be helpful for young researchers those who have just started their uh, material science journey and let me tell you a very important thing that um, sometimes you have to use different software to do a simple task so this basic knowledge of these software will help you to uh, make different different structures so now I am just writing it let me just save it and let me just open it and uh, uh, I think this will serve the purpose and we are actually fine now with our three layer system however if you want to just visualize it you can go to boundary and just extend it in I think Z direction that will be fine sorry Y X direction it will be fine you can see however if you wanted to just make it into the Y direction you can also do wow very very beautiful multi-layer system and hope you like this video and please support my work by subscribing to my youtube channel and you know it took so much effort to create videos to think about the content however this is the video which i have learned through a paid software or paid course you know and i am sharing it for free so if you want me to help you you have to um, help me first in growing my youtube channel so that we all can reach to the people or researchers those who want these kind of videos so thank you very much for watching my videos hope you like it bye bye take care